Hey there, welcome to Watch Recap, and today, I will explain a comedy movie called, I Am Not An Easy Man. Okay, so let's start. Damien is a male supremacist, who works for a male-dominated marketing agency, he proudly uses all the benefits of being a man in a male-dominated society. He looks down on every woman, and uses them as objects to have pleasure. Damien's boss Marco, loves him and hands him the most important tasks always. Damien has a friend who is also his neighbor, named Christoph Lamy who is a famous writer. One day, at the launch of Christoph's new book, Damien meets his new attractive assistant Alexandra, currently he's dating a woman named Sybil, but that doesn't stop him from trying his luck on Alexandra. But she finds him arrogant and self-obsessed. When Chris's pregnant wife Lolo, arrives with her two kids, Damien and Sybil asks if they can come over for dinner to celebrate the book launch. But Lolo is not having it and says she can't have guests on school night. The best buddies realize quickly that Chris has forgot Lolo's birthday again making her upset. Both of them goes out to buy flowers for her, and as usual, Damien tries to get some girls. While whistling at two girl walking by, he mistakenly hits his head on the pole and goes unconscious. Waking up he finds himself being treated by a female medic, they then continues to walk and sees Lolo and Sybil going out together. Lolo asks Chris to take care of the kids before going away, Damien feels cold and is uncomfortable with his jeans, Chris says it could be because of his sagging balls and suggests to get a surgery, Damien laugh it off, but deep down Chris was being serious. Back at his apartment, Damien puts a warm muffler and a packet of cold peas on his head, he watches TV and is so confused seeing men being objectified instead of women on every show. The next morning, waking up he starts to get ready for work, but only finds shorts and bright color clothes in his closet, so he goes out in gray sweatpants and a white tank. At work, he notices how most of the employees are now women and they also comment on his clothes and appearance, Damien's co-worker Sophie, takes him to her office and informs him that his project was not good and is declined, she tells him it needs to be more feminine and crude humorous to impress the client, so instead of him, a girl got the project, Damien is surprised and wants to talk to Marco about this, to his shock, Marco comes in to serve coffee, Damien gets mad and tells her that she's making a big mistake not selecting him for the work. Sophie tells him to calm his rage before firing him out of work. Confused and mad, Damien goes into a bar where he sees two men wearing veil, he gets out looking at this, and instead goes to his father's eatery, there too, he sees his mother working and his father is entertaining the customers. Seeing Damien, his father asks him to get settled in life, while his mother says opposite of it. He freaks out as he realizes the world has turned exactly opposite of what it really is, so he performs a 1000 IQ move, and goes back to hit his head against the pole again thinking it will make everything normal, but nothing changes. At night, he meets Sybil at a bar, Sybil orders herself beer instead of champagne, and men are entertaining the crowd, Damien is slowly adapting to this new world, they go back to the apartment to have some fun, but Sybil is disgusted with Damien's chest hairs and leaves. Damien shares about his work problems with Chris and Lolo, Lolo suggests him to seek help from a masculist group to fight discrimination against men at work. Lolo is rushed to the hospital as she goes into labor pain, where she gives birth to her baby while hanging by a bar. Complete sportsmanship right? Chris's boss who is now Alexandra, is not happy that he is taking a paternity leave, Chris promises her that someone will take his place, Damien then takes this opportunity. Before sending Damien for work, Chris cuts his eyebrows, shaves his armpits and chest, and also scratches the hairs off his balls. Wearing booty shorts Damien goes to work for Alexandra, who is a dominant seductress and successful writer. She lives in a luxury house, she loves collecting marbles, giving him a list of things to do she goes out. Damien meets the housekeeper Martel, who praises his owner and says only women can write good novels, which Damien doesn't like of course. After doing household all day, Damien gets fed up, Alex returns and Damien tells her that he cannot stay in a world where women dictate men to work, and is not good for the job, she tells him to stay calm and keep his voice low. He asks Sybil for intercourse, but while doing it, Sybil finishes before him, leaving him frustrated. Fed up of a world where women rule, Chris and Damien joins a masculinist group called Tit for Tat. The group is known for wearing fake boobs, and protesting against women who dominates men. Meanwhile, 
Alex comes up with an idea for her new book she thinks is revolutionary. She thinks of writing about a masculist character, taking inspiration from Damien. She texts him to meet her, at the bar. Alex tells him that the world he claims he is from, is interesting. She says it's not so bad for women as they receive gift and have men held their door open for them. Getting drunk, Damien tells her about the world he came from where men dominates over women. He also tries to kiss her, but she says she doesn't take advantage of drunk guys and sends him home in a cab. It turns out she had recorded all of what Damien spoke about the other world, which she takes to her boss the next day who is Anne Meyer. Alexandra tells her that she wants to show the world that even masculinists depends on women. She plans to make Damien fall in love with her and then she will break his heart to teach him a lesson. Well, at least something is similar between these two worlds. Anne loves the idea and agrees to help her. As the plan goes, Damien tells Chris that he can no longer work for Alexandra as she is her girlfriend now. Chris is upset, as he thinks he won't get his job back even after the paternity leave ends. Arguing further, Damien insults Chris saying his wife doesn't respect him. Chris asks him to leave and never show up again. Alex makes her plan work by spending more time with Damien and finally they make love together. Damien is unaware that she even recorded them having intercourse. She takes him to work parties and also introduces him to Anne. She still have play with other men while dating Damien. One of her side guy also plays trick with her like destroying her property. Meanwhile, our boy is really in love with a woman truly for the first time. He irons her shirts and also works sometimes on behalf of her. Chris eventually forgives Damien. Chris confesses to Damien that his wife Lolo is so unfaithful to him. He is comforted by Damien who says he will be by his side no matter what. Alexandra always hides her writing work from Damien which makes him suspicious, she changes the topic and asks him to work for her whenever he asks to see her work, he denies one day and says he applied at a bar because he want to be equal with her and be independent, which Alex doesn't like. One morning, a guy named Daffodil, appears at Alex's home when she is not present, Daffodil seems to be upset and makes his way to Alex's bedroom, Damien texts Alex about this and she says to call the cops on Daffodil, Daffodil sprays small tits on her bedroom wall, and tells Damien that her marble collection represents the number of guys she played with. He reveals that she made him feel smart and worthy, only to play with him in the end. After this, Damien confronts Alex, and asks if he is also another marble for her collection. She tries to manipulate him, but Damien leaves. He goes to see a therapist, but Alex here shows first half to her publisher who loves it and wants her to complete it soon. But Alex has started to have doubts, she thinks it's cruel, and suggests to move on to a new novel, but Anne wants her to complete this novel only. Listening to her heart, and after a lot of self-analysis, Alex decides to stop writing this novel and shares this new decision with Annie. Meanwhile, Chris kicks Lola out the house, she then comes at Damien's apartment, she admits to cheating on Chris while she was pregnant, as her hormones were raging. She regrets it now, and asks Damien to convince Chris to forgive her. Alex apologizes for her behavior and they are back together, Damien then proposes her for marriage and surprisingly, she says yes to him. Damien and his father convinces Chris to forgive Lolo, Damien also tells his father about Alexandra. The next day, Chris and Damien joins the masculinists group tit for tat for a protest against a French collage, who only honors female writers. At the college, Damien meets Annie who was previously working with Alexandra, she taunts him saying if he has nothing better to do, Chris proudly tells her that his best friend is going to marry Alexandra. She breaks his heart in pieces when she reveals to him that Alex is already married. He rushes to confront her, finding the apartment locked, he convinces Martel to hand him the keys and then starts to search, he finds the marriage certificate. His heart is broken and his mind is full of rage. Meanwhile, Alex is at her husband's house to pick up her daughter. Before leaving, she tells her husband she has filled divorce and he has to sign it this time. Reaching home, she sees her house is destroyed, she instantly realizes that Damien must have seen the novel, she then starts to look for him around. Meanwhile, Chris receives a call from her friend Erica, who tells him that his buddy Damien is here at the bar fully drunk, and is being harassed by some girls. He decides to go to the bar and take him home, Alexandra joins them on their way. Reaching at the bar, they find an old woman taking advantage of drunk Damien, Lolo handles the old woman's friend who were harassing Damien before, 
while Alex sees the old woman unconscious on the floor. She rushes to see Damien, but he pushes her away, she then finally says the truth about her novel and all of the stuff, but this makes Damien even more upset as he only knew about the marriage, not that she recorded him and faked love with her. They two are struggling, Alex tries to explain herself but the two accidentally headbutt each other and falls unconscious. Alexandra then wakes up in an ambulance being handled by male medics, she rushes outside and notices how the world suddenly appears to be different, women are objectified everywhere and she then sees a feminists group protesting, she sees Damien among the protesters who calls out to her. This is where the movie ends, subscribe to the channel if you love movies, like and share the video, we appreciate it, see you again.